Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Grandad's Farm. Back here in Elm Creek. Beautiful November morning here in autumn. Sun's behind the clouds once again, but pretty beautiful day. Um, first job today, I think, is going to be to sell these eggs. Um, they're not at too bad a price. I think they're uh, just over five grand. And I think we can get them up anyway, up between five and seven, I think. So I think the price has uh, dropped a little bit. Uh, five one, so it's meant to be the highest price. But see, it's got such a big uh, level here that it could be down here in November and not up here. It may even the price may even go up tomorrow to up here somewhere. I really don't know, but I've got um six full pallets, so I think we should be able to just go and sell them straight across at the fast food factory. Um, do we use the pickup? Uh, yeah, let's use the pickup. Why not? Hopefully it won't be too too bad. Um, we've got a contract to do over here on one of our cotton fields that we did put in. Still haven't got those silage snakes ready to go as yet. They're still fermenting, so I don't think we'll be taking care of them uh, today or this early in the day anyway. Maybe later today we could probably head down there. Alright, let's get this loaded up. Try not to scramble our, our eggs. Don't know if I should go... Oh, let's get a bit closer. If I should go just too high or higher than that. may need to go higher, obviously, because we don't really want to have whoop, a pallet hanging out of the back of the truck if we can avoid it. I'll have to try and sit that on there nice and neat. Um, did that strap them? I, think, I don't know if that strapped them down or not. I think it did. Oh, the chickens are having a go at me for taking their eggs. Can't tell if it used that strap or not. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's good. We'll see the strap doesn't go over the eggs because it would destroy the eggs. But it still straps them down onto the truck, so that's awesome. Alright, that's on. Strap them all down. Are these ones <coughs> not quite ready to go? Could throw them on top. Let's throw them on top. It's not going to hurt to take take them with us, I guess. Let's restrap them down just because I don't want to go losing anything. So 9,557 uh, litres of eggs. Eggs is not accepted there. Nope, good. Um, I did sell the lime as well. I figured we're not going to need it right now. So, And I needed a little bit of extra money with... The leasing stuff from yesterday and also some more wages and all that sort of stuff so right let's head this way I think that's anything we really need to sell today is just these eggs it's going here nice and steady we don't want these things flying off losing a couple of eggs Right, let's let these go and let's see our money go through the roof, hopefully. It's going to be a good 50,000. 49,640. How good is that? Just for eggs. Just for eggs. That is bloody awesome. Right, let's head back home. Pretty sure everything at home is all done. There's not really much else we need to do back at home. I think we've got the cotton harvest down there we need to take care of, and that's about it. Uh, as I said, I think the silage snakes are still doing their thing. I'm still waiting for them to ferment a little bit. Let's see this guy here. 
It's just a matter of going down over here now and getting the cotton harvest up. The tractor's already down there ready to go, so... Um, these guys, I did top all these guys up with water. This one's completely full. I think the other two have got about fourteen to 15,000 litres in them. I guess chickens. We've got 360 chickens now, so... They're certainly making baby chickens pretty quick. Um, sort of having a bit of a look around. Where do we, oh, so where do we leave our tractors? That's right, they're still up on the field up there. They're not even here. Um, yeah, there's not much else we can do, so... Right, guys, I'll throw in a cut and I'll meet you guys down here. We're going to start doing the cotton harvest. And um, see how this one goes. Something a little bit different. Right, guys, here we are. Down here, getting ready to start on the cotton harvest in the John Deere CP690. Yeah, round cotton baler. Quite awesome. Start this thing up. And head down the field. So I don't think I've ever used this machine before in the past, so... Something a little different, something new. See the big fans in the middle there. It's on the side. So it's the exhaust and stuff. I'm not quite sure what's down there. Yeah, it is exhaust sand blowing out the side. Uh, on top. There you go, you can see the cotton coming in. We get stuck in there, and I think they'd eventually get turned into a, a bale from there. Um, let's have a look. Automatic drop. Yes. Um, hire a worker, we don't need to hire a worker. But, let's see, we're already at 60 something percent, but I think that when it fills up, the two and a half thousand litres or whatever of cotton it may be, whatever it's going to be, um, I don't think it makes a bale out of that. I think it compresses it and starts to make the bale. Not 100% sure. I know this one's a little bit different to the case. Right, so what are we up to? Wish these screens would work. A little bit of a bummer. Right, there we go. So that's dropped all the way down. Yep, yeah, it made a 26% whatever the bale, so 2,600 litres. It's going to be a 10,000 litre bale. So that's a little bit different from what the other one was. It's a bit too early to turn. Here we go. Once again, line ourselves up, get ourselves in that 270 degrees. And off we go, but let's see the cotton getting sucked in through there. There's more than one pipe, there's three pipes. Um, on either side and there's one in the middle there yeah so the cotton gets taken off and it gets sucked up and blown into there I think that's why it's got such a big blower thing on that side of the, the harvester I mean, don't quote me on it I'm no expert these mirrors I mean seriously giants have you not got any brains, any ideas to know that that is useless that one is semi-okay that one's semi-okay that one's decent, that one's shit again I mean, giant, seriously but for someone like me who relies heavily on mirrors for my, my, what, my main job my work being in the coal mining industry, um, driving heavy vehicles, dump trucks and stuff like that. Um, mirrors are one of the most important things. Having a mirror like that, not being able to see, is pointless. Same as that one. These ones down the bottom are okay, but they need to be pointed in a little bit more. So you can see this, just see the side of the harvester. Anyway, 
it's enough of me whinging about that, but yeah, just common sense. Just lack of lack of fine detail and lack of caring, I think. Right, so we're getting through this. It's gonna be quite a decent decent haul. Already at fifty three percent in our initial bail. Yeah, so that fan would be helping to suck up like the, the cotton. But now it looks like I'm completely missing the the cotton to be honest, so I probably should straighten myself up a little bit better next time. So we should get what do you reckon? Two, maybe three bales? Probably three bales, but maybe not three full bales out of this field. So we've got the JCB and the trailer, the cotton trailer over there as well. Ready to go. But 80% of that bale is done. I think the good thing about this is... Um, It'll also drop out the um, the bale while we're still collecting more cotton, which is a bonus as well. We don't have to actually stop stop the machine. Let's oh, um, get a screenshot for our thumbnail, of course. Still not quite lined up. taking an extra one anyway as you can see down that side I'll just move over to the left a little bit more alright there we go it's actually lined it up that one's lined up the first three are then the next three aren't Another, another minor detail that probably needs to be addressed, whether it's the machine itself or the actual crop. What are we looking at? 80%? We're just about ready to get our first bale. Right, head back down, see how we go. Now, I'd say we're going to get close to three bales. I said maybe not three full bales, but. Here comes our first bale. See, we're still harvesting cotton while we're unloading the bale. I mean, how cool is that? Right, we'll get Mark to jump in there and do that. 10,000 litre, two ton cotton bale. This thing is huge. I would love to get into cotton harvesting, huge cotton fields and stuff would be awesome alright let's get JCB fast track out over here I don't know how to use this thing either so I guess we'll have to run alongside it and then grab it somehow go. I shoot yeah, it gets three bales, so. That's pretty cool. Definitely looks pretty big on there. That's huge, isn't it? 10,000 litres. So whatever cotton is worth at the moment. Ah, 4,000. That's 40, nearly a $40,000 bale. And it's not even the highest price yet, like Feb, March, April. So that is... 40,000. 40,000 bucks. Alright. Let's get back in, we'll start taking care of this again. Oh, they don't line up overly well on their way back, do they?
Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll go close to. Well, I know we're going to get two. I don't. I don't. Not sure about three now. Not sure. It's got a bloody crappy car horn. Doesn't even have a truck horn. That's the other thing we haven't looked at yet today. One thing I usually always, always forget, and that is checking the used vehicle market. So let's quickly check that out and we'll see what we have. Trailer, uh, slurry tanks. Is it a spreader or just a tank? Uh, I think it's just a tank. Ah, it needs an additional distributor. There you go. Class quadrant. Square baler. Oh, that would be perfect. And the Ponzi Cobra, which we don't need. Definitely don't need that at the moment. I do know there's still a couple of um, cheap trucks that they've they've been able to get in. They're not selling them as used vehicles though. They're going to be selling them as refurbished. So I believe there's a a semi trailer. Maybe a flatbed, a grain truck, and also a water water tanker. I think they're Chevys, from what I what I remember them telling me. I think Maddie was Maddie was telling me about it. There's a Chevy, old Chevy trucks, fully refurbished, looking good. We might have to go down and check that out and see. See what we can do. Um, looking at the map again, as you know, we we, we own this field up here. Um, we still owe fifty-five thousand, so we could nearly pay that off. I think. I think I'm going to keep this for a little while. It's pretty much just money in the bank. You know, it's we can sell that land at any time. Well, if there's a buyer, I suppose, but there's always buyers for fields looking to expand us like we are so we can keep that for a rainy day maybe get another harvest or two out of that and then let's see what happens I guess yeah, it'd be good good to keep it depending on what these silage bales bring in money wise definitely be worthwhile I did end up stopping at the shop yesterday um, on my way up there taking up the tractor and the, and the bale trailer I did stop at the shop um, and lease a bigger trailer I just thought that one that we've got at home that we usually load our lettuces onto is just not not big enough not gonna get anywhere near as many bales as we need when there's I don't know was it 32 bales or 36 bales? I can't remember now. Bloody heaps of bales up there, so. Right, so we're definitely going to get two bales. And it probably will be three by the time we finish this little field. It won't be three full bales, but there will be three bales. Alright, so this bale will get unloaded it's 20,000 litres of cotton right we've got to remember that cotton and wool are two different things so make sure when you're looking at pricing you're looking at the right thing if we go in and have a look you'll have cotton and then wool is obviously from our sheep when you get sheep, not not cotton. You don't get cotton from sheep, you get wool from sheep. Alright, similar. Cotton's a little bit more valuable. Wool's not too far behind. But cotton's a lot more expensive to produce. And obviously harvest. Whereas with our sheep, I think we just need hay grass or hay, and that's about it. So yeah, and also think up up there where we have that meadow, I really want to expand that meadow. 
take our combi plough up there and rip it in the ground and expand that field. That'll just give us even more yield again over the yield that we already get, which was pretty bloody good. Oh, I don't like the way this thing turns. If it turns sharp, it just takes forever to straighten the wheels back up. Should be a couple more runs, I think. Another one back up, and then another half a one back down. Up in the trees. The trees are slowly starting to have their leaves die off. Uh, what is our field? 50? Didn't we plant field 51? Thought we did. Uh, wheat. Wheat. Oh. 91,000 for that. That would be a good buy as well when it's ready to harvest so we can have extra for our chickens. I don't know if that little field's going to be enough to feed our chickens for a full year or not. Especially now that we've got 360 chickens. Yeah, I don't know. So from what I remember, um, the chicken coop cost us about 70 or 80,000. And we just sold all those eggs for nearly 50. So we're going to make our money back pretty quick on the coop. And then we'll slowly be in the profit. Once we pay back the cost of the chicken coop and the building and everything, we'll be, um, be doing really well. So maybe this time next year we get some, some more eggs ready to sell. Uh, let's have a look at the eggs, see if the price has changed any. I don't think so. What about lettuce? I think lettuce was low again. Yeah, reasonably low. Going back up though. A bit disappointed that I sold all the lettuce before. But once I loaded up that truck, I just had to because there was it was lagging like crazy. I think the trailer we have is okay. I think we could probably get a little bit bigger. Obviously not the semi-trailer version, but just another bigger trailer. Oh, let's get Mark back out onto there while we jump in the JCB and we get this other bale loaded. And then we should have that last one we should be able to unload, I hope. Now I know the farmer's expecting a certain amount of yield out of this field, so once he gets that yield, Anything other than that is a bonus for us, so we'll be able to make a little bit of extra money, I think. I think it's about six or seven grand just for for us doing the field. Alright, let's go and jump back up here with Mark. Shame you can't see us sitting beside him. Oh, that would be pretty cool. I'm assuming they will release like the passenger mod or something at a later date. Alright, dismiss worker. Uh, can we? Tool is filled. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Unload unfinished bale. Doesn't take that other 868 litres though, does it? Unload Baylor, there we go. Right, fold it up. Tool is filled, so we can't actually... Sounds pretty cool, shut down noise. We can't actually... Get that little 34% out and into here. Bit of a bummer. It'll all add up. Alright, let's get this next one loaded. Alright, now 
we could set it back to transporting position. We'll head up this way. I think. Oh, we've got to go to the spinnery, I think. Let's check the mission. Ah, to the spinnery. Yep, there we go. So they'll turn this into clothing or something, maybe, at the spinnery? I don't know. Turn it into something. Not 100% sure. Fabric. They might turn it into fabric and whatever else they've got to do. To turn it, send it down to the tailor and then turn it into clothing down at the tailors, I think. I'd love to be able to just move these mirrors a little bit, just adjust the mirrors. I love this JCB too. I mean, I'm not a fan of JCB tractors, but I just love the fact that it does 65 kilometers an hour. It's just as fast as I would do, you idiot. Um, just as fast as I would do in like the pickup, so. I told you this Elm Creek is full of crazy, weird drivers. Bloody nut jobs. I think I can get to the spinnery from up here. Hopefully, I don't have to take like the back dirt road. Oop, left in here. Okay, I think this is the spinnery. Sounds like it. It's like a house there, spinnery there. Awesome. Let's drive up here. Get ready to unload these bales. Right. Unload here. Uh, oh yeah, it went, one went, two went. Is it going? Oh, it's slowly going, there we go. Oh, let's put that back. An extra 15,000. Plus the contract. Awesome. Alright, so this is where the other pro produce stuff would come out. Um... Now we don't want to buy the spinnery. Let's have a look at production. A dairy. Spinnery. So it uses cotton and wool to make cotton and wool to make fabric. There we go. Looking. Ooh, 10,000. That is pretty good. From cotton and wool to making fabric, making clothes. How good is that? Oh, a lot of money in that, that's for sure. Alright, let's clear this contract. And there's a ton more contracts to do. Cultivating, fertilizing, harvesting 79 and 80. Oh, what's that? Corn, soybeans, and then some plowing. Not a fan of the planning ones. Really not a fan. What's up? Radio guys. Actually, let's have a quick look for some collectibles over here. Don't know if there'll be anything around here. There would have to be. You'd think there would have to be a sheep around here somewhere. Don't know though. Nothing up on there. But oh, there we go. Yeah, there'll be one around here somewhere. You'd have to. If you didn't put one at the spinnery, there'd be something wrong with you. 
Yeah, nothing. These people probably think I'm trying to spy through their bloody windows. You pervert, get out of here! Um, right here, guys. We'll, we'll end the episode here. We'll go and check on our bales over there and see how they're doing. Um, and yeah, go from there, I suppose. But if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. If you have any ideas, suggestions. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's Big Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.